गुड मॉर्निंग सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी कम टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट साइंटिफिक नोटेशन एंड डिस्कस अबाउट सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर सो टूडे इन अ वेरी शॉर्टकट मैनर आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू लॉज ऑफ केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द मेन पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर आई विल शो यू लॉज ऑफ केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशन वाट आर द डिफरेंट लॉज ऑफ केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशन सो द डिफरेंट लॉज ऑफ केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशन आर डेफिनेट प्रोपोर्शन लॉ ऑफ मल्टीपल प्रोपोर्शन एंड एवोगेड्रोज लॉ लॉ ऑफ डेफिनेट प्रोपोर्शन लॉ ऑफ मल्टीपल प्रोपोर्शन लॉ ऑफ एवोगेड्रो देर आर थ्री बेसिक लॉज ऑफ केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशन आई विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग यू इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो स्टेट यू एंड प्लीज वॉच इट प्रॉपरली सो टूडे नाउ वी विल डस्ट फर्स्ट इसका डेफिनेट प्रोपोर्शन डेफिनेट प्रोपोर्शन आई गेस यू पीपल हैव स्टडीड अर्लियर ऑल्सो इन क्लास नाइन डेफिनेट प्रोपोर्शन मीन्स नोट्स आई विल गिव यू अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस लॉ एलिमेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन अ कंपाउंड इन अ डेफिनेट रेशियो इन अ डेफिनेट प्रोपोर्शन सो आई वुड चेक दैट प्रोपोर्शन एज वॉट प्रोपोर्शन दे आर प्रेजेंट सपोज आई टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड आई टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वेर कार्बन इज प्रेजेंट ट्वेल्व ग्राम and oxygen is present as 2 into 16 that is 32 grams so what is the ratio of carbon to oxygen 12 is to 32 12 is to 32 is the ratio of the mass of carbon and oxygen so 4 3 are 12 4 8 are 32 which means the ratio of the elements of carbon dioxide is 3 is to 8 means mass of carbon is to mass of oxygen is 3 is to 8 now whatever amount of carbon dioxide you take whatever amount of carbon dioxide you take this ratio will remain the same this ratio will remain the same for example if i take 2 co2 what was the ratio the ratio was 3 is to 8 if i take 2 co2 then carbon will be 2 into 12 24 gram and oxygen will be 2 into 2 2 into 2 into 16 that is 64 gram okay 2 into 2 into 16 and 2 into 12 24 what is the ratio 24 is to 64 so 8 3 is a 24 8 8 the 64 the ratio remains the same that is 3 is to 8 so this is called law of definite proportion you can take uh, any element suppose if i take a larger uh, compound suppose if i take h2so4 then this is 2 into 1 2 grams sulfur is 32 grams and oxygen is 4 into 16 that is 64 grams so what is the ratio the ratio is 2 is to 32 is to 64 ratio of all the elements is 2 is to 32 is to 64. So 2 ones are 2, 2 sixteens are 2 32s are. So that is 1 is to 16 is to 32 is the ratio of H2SO4. These are the basic concepts of chemistry which I am teaching you students. Okay, understood? So this is the basic. Now this is the law, law of definite proportion. For example, in water, if you take, if I talk about water, then water here it is 2 grams. And oxygen it is sixteen grams, so two into sixteen that is one is to eight. Clear? So these are this is the law of definite proportion. Now next we will go to. Next we will go to. Law of multiple proportions. Okay. Next we will go to law of multiple proportions. Multiple proportion को आप समझने के लिए to understand this. it states that if two or more same elements i repeat if two or more elements gives different products if two or more same elements give different products then the fixed mass of one element combines with the fixed mass of another element in simple whole number ratio means if the masses of one element combines with the masses of another element in simple whole number ratio if two elements forms more than one compound 
if two same elements forms more than one compound. I will explain you, please watch it very carefully. These are the basics, okay? So we are discussing law of multiple proportion. Suppose you see here, carbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide. Carbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide. Carbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide. Carbon plus oxygen also gives you carbon monoxide. Carbon C plus O2 gives you CO2, C plus O also gives you CO. How? Half. So C plus O2 also gives you CO2, C plus O2 also gives you CO. Which means two elements, same elements, huh? these two are the same elements, same. They are giving two or more products. Then you see here mass is 12 gram. Here also carbon ka mass is 12 gram. Here it is 32 gram. Here it is half into 32 that is 16 gram. So the law states that if two or more elements forms more than one compound then the fixed mass of one element. See here carbon ka mass is fixed. Here also 12 gram. Here also 12 gram. Then the fixed mass of one element combines with the other element but in simple whole number ratio. Which means ratio of the mass of oxygen, ratio of the mass of oxygen in both the cases is nothing but 32 is to 16 that is 2 is to 1. So this is law of multiple proportions. Okay. I take another example. Let me see how it forms. I will take another example. Suppose hydrogen and oxygen, once it forms peroxide, and hydrogen plus oxygen, once it forms water. Same element, but they are forming different products. Same element. Element has to be same, and they are forming different products. Now whose mass is fixed? Here it is 2 gram, here it is 32 gram, here it is 4 gram and here it is 32 gram. In this case whose mass is fixed? In this case oxygen mass is fixed. In this case oxygen's mass is fixed. So when two or more elements combine to form more than one compound then the fixed mass of one component combines with another component in whole number ratio. Now you see what is the ratio, here it is 2, here it is 4 of hydrogen. So ratio of mass of hydrogen in both the cases is 2 is to 4, that is 1 is to 2. So this is the law of multiple proportion. Means in multiple proportion, if two elements form more than one compound, then ek ka mass fix rata hai. Or dusra ka mass jo hai, wo hamesha aisa simple whole number mein rena chahiye. That is the main concept of this particular uh, law. Okay. So last we discuss law of Avogadro. Last we discuss the law of Avogadro. Avogadro's law states, suppose you take two beakers and you fill it with water. You take two beakers and you fill it with water. And both the beakers are filled only 50 ml. Water you take water or you take gas or whatever you take. And both are at same pressure 1 atm. And both are at same temperature suppose 298 Kelvin. Then Avogadro's law states that if two compounds or two gases or two components are at same temperature and at the same pressure then volumes of these gases volumes of these gases or liquid will equal volumes of these gases or liquid will have equal number of molecules suppose I am taking here water and suppose here I am taking suppose I am here I am taking alcohol 
Suppose here I am taking water and suppose here I am taking alcohol. Then 50 mm number of molecules of water. Number of molecules of water will be equal to number of molecules of alcohol. That is the concept. That is the concept which means equal volumes of gases, especially this is for gas. I have shown you for liquid, especially this law is for gas. Equal volumes of gases contain equal number of molecules at same temperature and pressure. That is Avogadro's law. So if suppose I fill it with carbon dioxide and here I fill it with ammonia. And temperature and pressure are same. Then 50 ml of carbon dioxide may chitna molecule hoga. 50 ml of ammonia may be utna hi molecule hoga. So temperature and pressure has to be constant. So and if the volume is also same, the number of molecules of one gas has to be equal to number of molecules of another gas. So this is all about today's class. I hope you people have understood and enjoyed the class. So law of chemical combination 3, law of definite, law of multiple and Avogadro's law. Tomorrow I will start a very important part and that is mole concept. The fan is switched off for a longer period of time and I am sweating or anything. So I will take a break. Notes will be given in your Google Classroom. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Stay safe.